So, on our journey to continue to see new things, we are now at Garage Excellent, which is a very well-known Japanese VIP tuning shop. Wow. Hello. Hey, shit. Oh wow, he like... They are like moving the gas tank and everything, huh? This is a, from a, from a 100 Mark II fuel tank. Because the Aristo is usually under the seat. Yeah. And then, so you put this oh, there. the fillers over here, yeah. And then apparently the spare tire wheel hits the ground. <laughs> So he raised that. Oh. Oh shit. Yeah. And then he tubbed the rears in the front, obviously. <laughs> Holy shit. How wide that is, dude. Mm. Wonder if we can see the floor. So the floor's also been raised, right? Hmm? The floor has also been yeah, cut and raised. Yeah, For maximum low. <laughs> wow. Completely tubbed, radius. <laughs> yeah. Two fifteen forty five seventeen. On like that's probably like a ten. The car's gonna like sit on the ground for sure, dude. That's why, that's why they raise the floor. <laughs> no, this guy's crazy, dude. Two forty five forty seventeen on like a twelve. They also run random ass tires that they know are gonna wear out super quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like a random thirty four. How deep is this? Jesus Christ, you see your whole arm in there, dude. Yeah, you can. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, did you see all the cars that are in that back area? Yeah. Fucking insane. I walk around there before it gets dark. <laughs> All the wheels and shit that he has here. Oh, I guess these TEs are for this 34, huh? With all the knocks. Yeah. Here, let's go toward the graveyard. This looks like a 33 back there, too. Let's go investigate before it gets dark. Oh, man. Just like stab your leg right here in this. <laughs> 
Yeah? Yeah, I see my shop's been around for a while, huh? Yeah, you've been here, right? No, never. Huh? Never been here before. Oh, really? You are the only one that came here. Oh. Oh, sentry. Yep. Man, they're just like one and dones, huh? You want to just get the cover of a VIP car and done. Yeah. Oh, I've seen this car before too. This is also a VIP magazine. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I guess, uh, are they just their cars or they're just like... I think it's customers' cars, but then they build them and yeah, then like they have nowhere to put them. Oh shit, it's a Sentia. Yeah. Nine, With JP nine. wheels on it. Huh? <laughs> it JP wheels on it. Yeah. This is 929, right, in America? Mm-hmm. What is going on here? Oh. This MRT is pretty sick. Oh, yeah, it has TEs on it, too. Ooh. What's, what's IS spec TEs? <laughs> huh? Are those IS spec TEs or 17s, though, huh? 16s in the front. Oh, 16, 17 stagger? It looks like a 16, 17, yeah. Yeah. Look, the body is super nice. Classic. Oh, man. What happened to this one? Oh. Looks like somebody got body slammed on this one. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Did they use it for a New Japan Pro Wrestling death match and they're just like... Did the one winged angel on the hood. <laughs> Look at these MS3s, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> so good. Oh, they're so fucked. Yeah. <laughs> like, how does that even happen? Uh, I mean, how does this... Yeah. <laughs> it's honestly it's probably because of snow. The fucking scotch taped the hood together. No, like legitimately it's probably because of snow. Like it still gets so heavy on here. Oh yeah. And then like the all the bondo and body work and stuff. It just freezes and breaks off. Holy shit, dude. Oh wow, that's a crown dragon? Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Mm. Turbo. <laughs> wow. All the campers. All the radius. Crystal, it's like it's done so nicely too. Mm-hmm. And when you run like wheels that don't fit on a radius car, it looks stupid as fuck. See, yeah, stupid as fuck. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Man. Oh man, look at that SSR now. Mm -hmm. Oof. <laughs> it's like a brand new wheel. That wheel came out two years ago. Yeah. That might be doo doo. Oh, look at this exhaust. It's like that, that thick ass border exhaust, but it's, it's like unobtainable now. Border with border 304? Mm. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's got a little flare tip on it and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Show you a flare tip. Yeah. Too. Well, I also have a flare tip. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Gold mine right here. For the three people that still build MR2s. Huh? For the three people that are still in 10 more twos. Yeah. I like it. What a great car. Slept on for sure. Ooh, look at this 33 over here. Damn, yeah, I can't get over this Sentia, dude. I was slept on. Yeah. <laughs> somebody did the one winged angel in it. Okay. Somebody, somebody did the, the slept on. Damn, they radius the front of the Sentia. <laughs> it's like old school. It's so weird because they just like, cut it. The, the rear is like where you kind of should have radiused it. And they didn't. The wheel arch is so weird shaped. I assume this is an earlier, earlier build of theirs. Damn, look how dark the tint is. It's just black. I think I remember seeing this car before too. Wild. Feature this car, maybe that's why. Yeah. It work. Yo, you gotta see the interior on this. Oh man, holy shit, that's the R1's on it. Oh. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. 
fucking This is an EK dash? Yeah, but then they extended it and put that big ass TV in there. The fucking iPad. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh man, it is cold. <laughs> hey, there's an Integra over here with a Mugen wing on it. What the hell? Yo, what's up, dude? Let me get this. They got Acura badges on it. This is a Mugen Gen 1. Oh, the real one? Yeah, like a legit Mugen Gen 1. Sorry, to take it? Yep. Take it home? Yeah, dude. For sale. Is it? Take the tail lights off that Y33 and then this Mugen wing. Yeah. And then call it a day. Wow. You know, fucking Rolls Royce right here? Yeah. Convertible Integra? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Roof conversion. Damn, they totally cut the fuck out of right here too. For some reason they cut through the quarter panel. Yeah, they were just gonna do everything, huh? I think they just use it for parts. Yeah, it would appear so. There's a push button start. Um, Yugen? Sticker on the cluster. Oh, hey. <laughs> Thing, is it? Let me look. Huh? Let me look. I don't think so, dude. How funny would that be? Yeah, I doubt it. You can even make a cluster. You can make a cluster. Oh wait. No, those are stickers. <laughs> right? I don't know. Watch your head though. Don't get tet tetanus. Yeah. No, that's not real. Those are stickers for sure. You can see where the red line is. It's just a sticker. Huh? No, it's not real. Oh. I don't think you can ever made a cluster. Whoever made that though, like, looks pretty nice. Yeah. Just don't ever post the video and then have Chewy sell it. Yeah. I mean, I'm definitely gonna post it, so. Yeah, too bad. Sorry, Chewy. <laughs> They're just sitting out here in this convertible now. Fuck it. What is this shop called? We're here at Cenard. Mm -hmm. Or they call it Cenardo. Because <laughs> they're Japanese. Yeah. But they do a lot of uh, race prep for the one make cars. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looks like they're doing a bunch of the GK fits lately. But they still have a bunch of the EKs too. Yeah. From familiar, familiar faces. <laughs> yeah. It's like a graveyard for old one make civics. <laughs> yeah. It's like every car that was ever in a hyper rev. Yep. Apparently comes here. This stuffed chair with the air walker rear bumper. Yeah. This is like an air walker bird thing, right? Yeah. It was a complete air walker car, I think. Yeah. It's an old Jay's car. Was oh, it Jay's? Yeah, Jay's Racing. It has T37 Sonics on it. No wonder it's buried back here. They just use them as rollers. <laughs> Cheaper than the <laughs> series. This is another familiar face. The old Jay's EK9. Yep. So you got hit in the back. Yep. Yeah, we got rear-ended. Oh, damn, no, dude. <laughs> oh. You look more rear-ended, huh? Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> the whole fucking side. No wonder you don't see this car anymore. I 
parts. I guess so. Mm. Are they pulling parts out of it or putting parts in it? <laughs> Just a little bit of both. It's yeah. cool though. Mm -hmm. This gets darker and darker back here. Some sketchy stuff. <laughs> oh, there is all kinds of stuff in here. Oh yeah, I think it's still, the car's still okay. Yeah. It's usable. <laughs> a giant Mugen box. They put a bumper on it. The head is still intact. Oh. It's an Impala wagon. <laughs> Interesting. Sounds like uh, a heart medication with lots of side effects. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is ES. Thank you. Your loved one has been. This car didn't have much of a livery on it, huh? Sorry, what? It took the livery off of it. Oh, or maybe the door is too <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, the door matches the hood, so the rear quarter it looks like it's new, if anything. Yeah. That's a nice car though. Hmm? Nice car. Yeah. They're known for their engines here. They like uh, the Clubman races. Yeah, they build a bunch of engines for other tuning shops too, right? That's that's the word on the street. <laughs> Sorry, the colors are gonna change a bit because of the lighting, so. Step over. Sorry, it's gonna be kind of shaky too because of the light. S2000 with a Mugen head. Jay's front fenders and a spoon front bumper. Popular combination with a lot of guys in the US, but this shit is real. Unlike some of the stuff you see back at home. I don't know if you guys can see this. Pop some light on here, maybe you don't see it better. It's a familiar face. The Vision Technica Sport Honda Fit. Now it just sits here. Resides in retirement. The Jay's fenders. Inky wheels. FD2 from the newer Enki wheels. These are the new Enkis, right? Enkis. No, Enki something or other? No, it seems like they need them. <laughs> you look at this. Yeah, they just collect sway bars. It's insane. So good. Yeah. Just when you thought our shop looked bad. Huh? So you think our shop looked bad. Ooh, CE28 SLs right here. Whatever this is. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's like a requirement for the race. Yeah. You just never had front ends, huh? Huh? You just never had front ends, huh? I honestly don't know. I thought there was a little little thing that goes right there. 
Like a little, like a old card type of front. Oh yeah, I think. Right. Yeah, that, I think this is a K drum. I'm not sure. I mean, it, the K drum is it's technically like a Lotus Seven replica, right? So. Yeah, unless it's like one of those. I think it's a K drum. Give you one of those old like weird Mitsuoka things, though. but those had really long noses. Didn't, this doesn't have that. Those are baselines for teach out Yeah, so there's no ways. <laughs> so it does have an SR. Look at the, uh, the cylinder four, the, the exhaust runner. It goes around the yeah the chassis or the frame. And this exhaust is beautifully made too. Mm-hmm. The 15 inch, what is this, like a 15 by 7 in the front? Mm -hmm. 15 by 7? Looks like it. And like a... 16.8 or 16.7? It was 215 on there. Mm -hmm. Never thought to stagger a Rego with a Type C. Hmm? Never thought to stagger a Rego with a Type C. That's great. Yeah, because the 5 spoke to 6 spoke. Yep. <laughs> More impressive is the, the tow rig itself. Yeah. It says this room stays 20 degrees Celsius throughout the year. Mm. Well, I was like, 182 grams. That's like really light, bro. You just said. And he's like, well, once in a while, we, we get we got them in the 170 <laughs> in the factory. Mm. So we take apart as many as possible and we look for them. Mm. I was like, these are on the lighter side, but sometimes they get in the 170 range. And then Oh, yeah. 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 Make race, I guess you have to, right? right? Every advantage possible. Uh, yeah. These are light for what they are. These are pollen, not a piece of light pollen. Right? Yeah. Oh. According to him, uh, when, it's, when it's unbalanced by 5 grams, it's just keep it going to Really? Driving. It's <laughs> crazy. There's a cat up there. There's a cat in the box. You can see his ears. Really? Yeah, there's a cat in there. You see his face? I can see his ears. Look, he's moving. There's a cat in the engine building room. 
<laughs> I can see his ear. I was like, what the hell is moving? <laughs> yeah. It's the, it's the engine building cat. He's like, he's like, hey, the engine. The, the cat builds the engine. Don't tell anybody. Maybe his name is Sonard. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yawning. Oh, he just lives in the box. He climbs up there himself and he just he comes and goes and he doesn't knock anything over. It's a Japanese cat. It's very polite. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 I guess he lives here in the engine room because it's always warm. warm yeah. <laughs> Sonar the engine cat. Oh, hi. <laughs> what the hell is going on? It's a, very, it's a really old cat, huh? なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、